What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so you guys notice anything different about this? Yes, I do. So, in the last, what, three episodes, I completely forgot to, uh, well, I have completely forgot to use the Dismume app that makes all the graphics a little bit better, a little high quality and all that stuff. Now that we're here, and as you guys can see, it's not so pixelated or anything, except for the characters. But the floor, the sand, everything, it's looking pretty legit. So here we are, guys, in Undela Town. This place right here was introduced to us in Pokemon White and Black, or Black and White. And uh, this is the area where we found ourselves the champion uh, Cynthia. And she nearly kicked our butts. And this guy's like, Undela! Okay, that was kind of weird. And, well, we need to talk to her, and, well, again, I haven't really done much on this whole area right here, but Undilla Town is very, very, you know, reserved and very, uh, whatchamacallit. And as you guys can see, ex the cross transceiver is getting a, we're getting a call. As you guys can see, we found ourselves a cross transceiver a while back that it belongs to a person named Yancey. Hi, is this Draven? Really? So you like Pokemon of that type too, huh, Draven? Many of them are cute, aren't they? Oops! My colleague is calling me back. I have to get back to work. Talk to you again. And, well, it looks like to us that we're still in the mystery of who is Yancey and all that stuff. And it's kind of interesting how, like, the whole Yancey thing is getting picked up and everything. Now, as you guys can see, Fog has picked up right here. And what we're going to be doing here, guys, is we're going to just be exploring a few places. And, well, yeah. I'm doing this all blind, guys. I really am. And Lopunny is looking pretty uh, legit right here. So, anywho, for those who are new coming into the, uh, to the channel and all that stuff, thank you guys for subscribing and all that. Now, uh, for those, again, who are new, wondering why we're back in Pokemon Y2. Well, it, at first I was like thinking to myself that, yes, maybe I should probably go and play Pokemon White. I've never really played it, but it's basically the same thing. It's the same thing as it is Pokemon Black, with the exception of like the Pokemon in Reverse and all that crud. And uh, but then I got I got to I got to think that it was like you know what it's you know what I'm still doing Pokemon White too. Uh, it's been paused for quite some time, and a lot of you guys have been asking about when am I going to go back to it. So I was like you know what. Let's go ahead and play Y2 as a well. Let's see, as a continue, like as the as the continuation. Like, okay, so we already did we already did uh, Pokemon Black, and we, that's one version of Unova. Let's do the other version of Unova, which, as many of you guys already know, uh, starting in Pokemon Black and White, the series, the what you call it the whole definitive walkthrough episode or the definitive the whole definitive uh, game which you know the whole trend of the definitive game like pokemon uh what was it called yellow crystal emerald uh platinum it all came to an end in this in this uh what was it called uh, in this generation everybody was expecting pokemon gray and yeah i, I kind of feel like it like i got slapped in the face because of it but then again, I got I got the reason to why they wanted to, yeah, I kind of I got I kind of got the reason to why they wanted to use like to, to do Pokemon Black and White too, and uh, I don't know, it, like it continued on to the next uh, generations and all that stuff, minus uh, what was it called Pokemon X and Y two or X and Y, they never came out with a definitive walkthrough. They just you know straight up came in with uh, what was it called? Uh, they just straight up came out with like the next. What was it called? Uh, the next uh, remake walkthrough and all that stuff, and it's no, it's no big deal. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, in its like anniversary, like the next remake spell and all that stuff, we'll get ourselves a definitive walkthrough for Pokemon X and Y. I'm pretty sure people are like already heckling the creators, or you know, they, they, their voices have been uh, heard and all that stuff. Um, the next walkthrough, that you, or the next games that should be be, uh, be remade is Pokemon Black and White. So, I would like to like I, I, I'm I'm kind of interested to see like its take, like Nintendo's take on it on the game in the newer uh, in the newer what you will call it uh, 
in a newer, what was it called, uh, games and all that stuff, the newer systems and all that. And, well, here comes a dynamic punch. Here comes Dragon Rage and, or not Dragon Rage, Dragon Breath. And, yeah, our Pokemon are getting our butts kicked and stuff, so. Okay, so. Yeah, this is a very, very good place to actually train Pokemon right now, so. Let's go ahead and see if we actually have a revive here somewhere. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of them because, yeah, Pokemon keep on fainting. Desert Storm's defense really sucks. I don't know why, but good gravy. Okay, so let's go ahead and give Gigalith a boost. Shadar. And let's continue on right here. So, if you guys remember, this is the area where we actually... I think we, we actually found Landris. And I did... I think I did do... Uh, what was it called? A, a little event for that one right there. Correct me if I'm wrong. So let's go with a rock slide for these guys. Let's go for... Let's go for that. For this guy. Actually, hold on. What the hell am I doing? Okay, so let's go charge beam to that guy. And air slash to that one. Okay, so there we go. Fastest one goes first. Lilligan has been defeated. Magneto grows to level 37. And here comes an Aqua Tail. Not so effective, but here comes the rock slide. And charge beam. Hopefully for the win. Not really. Nobody gains points right here, or nobody gets a, a little bit of a boost. And let's do this all over again, Basculin. And Air Slash to Basculin. So here we go, Air Slash for the win. There it goes. And Rock Slide, not for the win. I kind of feel like these Pokemon's defensive stats have gotten a lot, a lot better, so. Okay. Desert Storm, as always, you know, uh, about to faint on us. So let's go right ahead and help it out. Go with Magnet Bomb and get like a three-peat of like just moves on it. What the heck? Okay, so I was about to say we can't hit this Pokemon. So there we go. There's one. There's two. And that's how you do it. And there we go. Okay, so Desert Storm, you really are sucking on the defensive side. What the hell? Maybe I should be a little bit more strategic because my like most of my potions are going to this Pokemon right here. And well, let's see. Where is this? going. Okay, trainer tips. While you are using the crosshair receiver, press the direction of the control pad. The appearance of the screen will change in varied ways. Okay, that's pretty cool. Never knew that. And, well, there are more Pokemon trainers right here. More fog and more items that we can actually grab. So let's see. We found ourselves a max potion, which uh, could be useful. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Desert Storm, you have been a, a pleasure, so let's go ahead and use that. Big booty buckets and fighting style. Holy crud, she's a fighting style. Oh wow, she's got. Okay, so she's got. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely going with this. So we're going flamethrower attack, and here comes the discharge attack. That hits buckets. And we're going to do this again. And here comes spikes. Flamethrower attack for the win. Oh crap, okay, so here we go. Another flamethrower, and wow, we're getting our butts kicked right now, but there you go. That's how you do it, and we're switching out. Okay, so let's see. We got Magneto on our team. Okay, so let's see. Screw it! Actually, you know what? No, screw it. Uh, let's go with this one. Actually, I lie. Go with this. Go with that. And go with a side beam. And here comes a discharge attack. That hits us pretty hard. But the side beam works in our favor, and Buckus grows to level 39, and it's learning Crunch Attack right here. And, well, let's see, Fire Fang is not really working for us right here, so switch it out. And, well, here comes the leftover, so what we're going to do now is, well, let's see. Let's see, yeah, we're going to be switching out right here. Okay, so go switch, flame throw attack, and that hits us pretty hard. We're not going to be able to move. Here comes Spikes. We're still not moving, good god. Steel Wing makes my Pokemon faint. Good gravy. Desert Storm, handle your business. And go with a Rock Slide attack for the win. And there we go. Skarmory has been defeated. Desert Storm mooches off our Pokemon. And yes. Wow. We need we need to train our Pokemon just a little bit more, because god dang it. I can see it like, you know people got a little stronger and well, we're gonna use it to revive right here to this guy and let's go with that but guess right here all right so what's what's here let's see 
Trader Tips, the maximum number of boxes is now 24. In other words, you could store 720 Pokemon, all of them. Alright, so let's see. This is Route 14. We're not going to be going through that entrance just yet. I kind of want to want to check out this whole area right here. So let's go back right here, max repel. And we probably should have bought a little bit more repels. And yeah, it looks like we can't go anywhere. Yeah, except for surfing. And you know what? I think I have surf. Okay, so we're going to be surfing. Wow, how, how very naive of me. Now, the only thing is that we don't have waterfall yet. So let's go right ahead and come right here. There's nothing there. And this guy will probably want to battle us. So let's go ahead and battle this gentleman. And he is Backpacker Reese coming out with a Skoropi. And let's go straight for a flamethrower attack. That right there is a victory. And coming out with a pincer. This is looking pretty cool right here. So here comes submission attack. That hurts us. But it works in our favor because, well, it makes it easier to make that Pokemon faint. And well, let's see. Let's go ahead and surf right here. Keep on forgetting that I had surf. And well, to our you know, surprise, we get ourselves a hard scale, which is well, I guess I guess it's a much needed item right here. Now Problem is, we don't have waterfall just yet, so we won't be able to know anything that's beyond these waterfalls until we get to the, well, until we get, until we get waterfall and all that, and, uh, well, I'm going to be going back down right here because I want to see what happens when you surf in these certain areas right here, so, let's go right here, there's nothing there, okay, so, can never be too curious, guys, so let's go ahead and surf, and that is a waterfall use another repel because well yeah why not and use another waterfall or uh, surf and well let's see oh yeah so Undela town is right there so okay let's go ahead and move on into the next area right here and yes we're speeding it up just to get to where we need to be and look at that okay so let's go ahead and take a look at a map See where we're going. So let's see. Going to the next thing. And the cross transceiver. Let's go ahead. And it looks like to us we're gonna be going to White Force. Now, if we go north or northeast, northeast, yeah, northeast to Undela, you're gonna be going you're gonna be going through the area right here. You got Seaside Cave, and you got Humilao City which eventually gets into the Giant Chasm and Victory Road. Or, there's just quite a few places you could actually go, like Lacanusa City, or Lacanusa Town, I can't even pronounce it. And the goal is to actually get to Opalesa City, because that's where our seventh badge will be. So let's see, White Forest, and this will lead us back to the Lost Horn uh, Forest, all the way to Dimbasa. So, I don't think it would hurt if we just go down right here. Maybe it might be locked. It might be. Yep, it's locked. Okay, so they're dancing for no reason. It's blocked. So, yeah. We're going to be going straight to another area right here. Let's go. Well, it's probably a good thing that we actually battled everybody just because, you know. Who knows? Who knows? The experience, the, the experience could have worked right here. And, well, here we are in Dilla. And, well... We haven't checked out anything else in Undela except for just coming in here and, well, talk to this lady. This villa belongs to Caitlyn, one of the Pokemon Elite Four. Okay, Caitlyn's pretty cool. And, well, let's see, is there anything else that we could actually do? The sunlight is strong, depending on the, the Pokemon that can be either an advantage or disadvantage. Strong sunlight makes fire-type moves stronger and water-type moves weaker, which is true. It's a very good... Uh, what was it called? Strategy right there. This is the marine tube ahead. Walk through the aquarium. And I'm just going to be checking out some spots right here that I haven't even checked. I wonder why only the father from the rich estate here. Hmm. Let's see. I hear that the shops in Joint Avenue are run by amazing Pokemon trainers. Okay. I can't lose to them. I'm getting excited about this. Okay. And... As you can see, I am the ultra-rich billionaire. As you can see, my hobby is to collect rare items. In fact, this outfit is an uh, ultra-expensive rare and rare. Can you see it? Can you? There's something that this billionaire wants to get his hands on, even if it means spending a lot of money. Do you have such a rare item, do you? Urgh, you don't have that rare item, do you? 
I don't know. I, I really don't know what what item would that be. So please, guys, comment down below and let me know what the let me know what that item could be. Now let's see. Is there anything else that we can actually find? There is a Pokemon Center right here, and let's go straight to the aquarium. See what what that's all about. Now let's see. I haven't even talked to this lady right here. So so oh yeah, I've already talked to her. So she's telling us about Sunny Day. So let's see. Let's go right here. And, well, let's see. I moved uh, here just to be the first person to go through the marine tube. Huh. And this one is like the marine tube is just ahead. But please wait for a little bit longer, just a bit. Huh. And this guy is going to be moving around. And this guy is going to be like, sorry, I'll be finished with the cleaning soon. Please and wait until then. So we can't do, we really can't do anything except just wait on a lot of things. So... I think that's pretty much our episode right here, guys. Yes, another 15-minute episode. In the next one, we're gonna be we're gonna be going to the next town, whichever they may, that may be. So, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for you know being supportive as always. In the next episode, I don't know where we're going, but it's gonna be fun. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.